Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, that's me. And that is 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball. Four box, pick your team number 12. I think we're kind of off on the numbering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think we're a little off on the numbering because break 12 is coming from a fresh case. Break 13 should be coming from a fresh case. But maybe we took those four box, the last four boxes of the previous case. Something else happened to them. I don't know. For what, whatever that's worth, it's going to be a fresh case. Um, no vet common ship in this. And if you follow the instructions here, you'll have a chance at winning hundred dollars of break credit. Top seven in a randomizer at the end. We'll uh, we'll have a chance to get hundred dollars break credit. And that list, I don't think will be very big. It'll be almost half that list, I would say. All right. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. And we'll do that break credit at the very end of the video if that's what you're looking for. Here's the printout right here. Thanks everyone for getting in here and pick your team 12 on a Tuesday. It's the first of the month. It's the first of, remember that song? The first of the month. All right, and there's the fresh case of Contenders Baseball right here. Corey, what's going on? Brandon's got a basketball cousin for what, what was the media like over there when Lamelo decided to play in Australia, then go to college? He didn't go to college. He he went to Australia for that for the year of eligibility to fulfill that, and then he went into the draft. All right, so there's. One, two, three stacks of four right there. You can also see on the top camera. We're going to roll the dice. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how we'll select which four we're going to do. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be the far four boxes here. These we will save for next time. So we'll put some slash marks right there so we know where the TJ was guessing five. You're just one off, Teach. Do that. And is the next one in the store? Yes. Pick your team five is in the store. We can run this back tonight. And if we run it back quickly enough, we can put up pick your team six. Or uh, sorry, check check that. Pick your team 13 will be one of these. And then pick your team 14. Now, let's roll with this. Brandon, you can see a lot more players oh, go to Australia. Yeah, that's exactly what LaMelo did. But I think next year, and then it'll be interesting to see how this impacts uh, Australian basketball, but I think, uh, I think next year, Oliver, correct me if I'm wrong, you know your hoops. Don't they, aren't they eliminating the one and done rule next year? So now high school kids can go directly to college. Not confirmed yet? Oh, G League. All right. So maybe people still go to Australia. Corey, what's close to breaking that I can buy quickly? Everything on jazbeescasebreaks.com, Corey. Go check it out. Hurry before it all sells out. Here's box one. Let's breeze through these. Most of these are commons anyway. These, of course, will ship because that's numbered. That's to, 50, that's to uh, 99. And then we've got Kyle Garlic. Mmm, Garlic. Rookie Roundup. A little bit of a ding in the corner there, which I don't like. But I do like this is going to Vinny and the Dodgers. There's a uh, garlic festival in Northern California that I want to go to. He's actually, put, yeah, there you go. Yeah, TJ's like he was a stud in the, uh, 
in the championship season for the Double A Dodgers, Tulsa Drillers. Michael King, rookie ticket autograph for New York. That'll be for the Yankees. That's going to go to Robert Primro. That goes to Prim for the Yankees. There you have it. He's Kyle Garlic's a pretty solid player. Might see him in action with the Dodgers more often next year. Oh, we got some other, uh, I need to pull up the 2020 MLB draft class too. To track guys like this. So from the Woodlands High School, 63 out of 75. Where's the, the Woodlands High School sounds like it's in Texas. Isn't there a place called the Woodlands outside of Houston, like a fancy neck of the neck of the woods in Houston? Anyway, uh, he was drafted catcher to the Rockies. What's that? No, that's uh, Drew Romo, Tony's son. It's not Tony's son. Tony Roma would have to be way older or had a kid way younger. Than, uh, that's TJ in the Rocks. There you go, Teach. Yeah, not on, unless unless Sergio or Tony had 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 him really young. All right, we got Domingo Leyva, Mike Krasinski, and the Diamondbacks. And Tej is guessing. Uh, Tej is guessing Bo Bichette on that redemp. Sean Jaspi guessing Luis Robert in the background. That's what Oliver is guessing too. There's draft pick Bobby Miller. Bobby Miller is the 29th overall pick. Pitcher out of Louisville going to the Dodgers. That'll be for Vinny with another Dodger. What's he about? I got to learn about this guy. Prior to the 2020 season, Los Angeles had an interest in Miller, but wanted to see an improvement in velocity and control. In his first start of the year, the Louisville Ace showed both, throwing three miles per hour harder and striking out five while walking one. A couple of months later, Los Angeles Dodgers used a first round selection on the right hander. All right, there you go. College pitcher, which is good. Might might see the majors sooner rather than later. All right? The college kids, I think, only need... If they're on the right trajectory. Yeah, like Bueller came out. Oh, if it wasn't for Bueller's Tommy John that he got his first year out of the draft, I think he would have been up like a year... Or two sooner. It's AJ Puck for the Oakland A's. TJ with the Athletics. Oak Town, the Bay Area, and back down. California Love. It's a retro 1998 rookie draft ticket red. What's that number two? Out of 49, I think. 99? I don't know. I don't, doesn't sound like a train whistle number. No, no, I am curious. Let's go to cardboardconnection.com 2020 Contenders Baseball. That was ret retro? Maybe the nut red. Red parallels might be different on that on a set like that. Scroll down, rookie ticket, rookie ticket two, rookie ticket optic, rookie ticket optic, draft ticket, prospect, contenders, legendary. Retro 19, only 15 cards in this retro 1998 rookie ticket checklist. AJ Puck, Oakland A's is card three, red. I guess they call it draft red. 
Red is out of 75, it looks like. It has draft blue, 99 or less. Draft red, out of 75. Cracked ice out of 23. Playoff, 18. Diamond, 15. Building blocks, 10. Fame, 5. Championship and printing plate, one of ones. There you go. All right, AJ Puck could, uh, could make it. I don't know how he did. He play this year? I don't remember. I don't. I feel like we ever heard about him. Maybe next year. No, it was it's all good, TJ. It's worth looking up. Oh, hurt his arm again. Okay, that might be. Well, if he's able to pitch. He, he, he might be a great A's pitcher. All right, we got draft ticket uh, to 149. That's Javier Baez. And the autograph is Matt Tice. Well, I always get trolled by Matt Tice. 23, that's his jersey number out of 99. Ryan Harold, what's going on? That guy always fools me. I always think. I mean, at a glance, doesn't he? Doesn't he kind of look like Trout if you just kind of do that? And you're like, oh, M T Trout. There, there he is hitting that. I mean, that kind of looks like how Trout finishes his swing sometimes, right? And then you're just like, is that? Sometimes when they show it, when when the number peaks out too, you see like twenty something for the Angels, and you're like, Trout. But he wouldn't be in here. I think Trout's exclusive to Tops anyway, but in Tops products, he definitely fools you. Michael King autograph, another one for Prim and the Yankees. Ryan Harold's a bounty. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ryan Harold said he's a, yeah. I was going to say he's a bounty hunter and he tracks down people. Just like Bounty Hunter TV show. All right. There's Abraham Toro. Rookie ticket autograph for the Strohs. That's going to be for Michael Stewart. To 99, Ronald Acuna Jr. And there's Gavin Lux. Cracked ice. 11 out of 23. Vinny, last spot mojo with my Dodgers, the world champs. Vinny was looking for some big hits. Does that count? He could be rookie of the year candidate next year. I don't think he played the requisite amount of games. I think he still has his rookie eligibility, if I remember correctly. He's still eligible, says Ryan Harold. Okay, that's what I thought. Domingo Leba. I'd like to know what happened with his 2020 season. There was that. I feel like there was like a. I feel like that's a story that might be revealed this spring training. There's Domingo Leyva, Mike Rosinski, and the Diamondbacks. He was late to, to, to restart of spring training in the summer. He was late and then never quite got on track. There's Dylan Dingler, draft picks, and then just never quite off got off the ground. And I guess if it's like a yeah, I guess if it's like a medical thing like COVID, I'm sure. I don't know why why so secretive. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's it's up to him to decide on how he reveals that. But I feel like so many players were were so open about like getting in and saying, "Hey, it's a thing. Be careful." You know, blah 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 blah. But Ohio State's Dylan Dingler with <laughs> the uh, Detroit Tigers. Sorry, I'm 12. Um, catcher, catching prospect for the Tigers. That's going to go to Jorge. Reminds me of a uh, 
of an old P.T. Anderson picture. It's not family friendly at all. All right, I just said it wasn't family friendly, but there's there's Sean, just putting out. There we're right smack in the middle of prime time hour, Sean. Kids are still up. Kids are still up. We cannot be telling them about movies like Boogie Nights, an award-winning picture by P.T. Anderson. <laughs> what? Who's Grace Roll? Yeah, Seymour Hoffman. It's actually a, it's actually a really good, it's actually a really good movie. It's not family friendly, but for adults out there, it's a good movie. It's a good picture, good writing. Capote was good too. So that was a good picture. There's Roberto Campos. Prospect ticket autograph for Detroit. Another one for Jorge. Ooh, that's a good movie. I haven't seen that in a minute or two. Blow is a great movie. Johnny Depp. And who was the who was the female lead? Why am I blanking on her name? Another one for the Tigers, Travis Demerit for Jorge. <laughs> nice, right? Penelope Cruz, that's right. I was, I was going to be like, she was in a movie with Tom Cruise in Vanilla Sky. There's Eddie Diaz. Correct, Jorge. No, how could I forget about Penelope Cruz? And that's uh, Eddie Diaz for The Rocks. That's going to be TJ. Which is a Rocky's different kind of, of that movie. We got Anthony K, Toronto. Vinny with the Blue Jays, your other last ball mojo team hitting. And a Miguel Cabrera cracked ice. Two out of 23 for Jorge and the Tigers. Yeah, old Anthony K. Every kiss begins with K. Ding. All right, there's for Baltimore. That's Aaron Pettit with Mason McCoy. Definitely not a Hatfield. Not those dirty Hatfields. Are we on Team McCoy? I don't know what I I don't know. Were they both wrong? Logan Allen. <laughs> what was that feud over? Thirty four out of seventy five. Logan Allen, Cleveland, Matt K with the trap. Last box coming up. There's a guy in Kentucky whose last name is Askew. If I was a broadcaster, and if, if one of his shots were a little off. Which is precisely why they would not let me be a broadcaster for any sport. Oh, you like that train in the window here? Yeah, at, at night, it really starts to pop. When did we get that? I think we got that a couple years ago. It makes an appearance every Christmas. Love it. 
It lights up the background there. It's moving around. We got Lewis Thorpe. All the way from Australia. Lewis Thorpe. He's now in Minneapolis. It's quite a difference between Australia and Minneapolis. But he's playing a game that he loves. Matt with the Twins. For Chicago, there's Kyle Hendricks to 99. And another Mason McCoy. That'll be for Aaron Pettit once again and the Baltimore Orioles. Be more. This Cubs card will go to Michael Stewart. Then we got Dre Jameson. Hmm, Jameson. Mike with the Diamondbacks. Maybe he's part of the Jameson family. John Jameson and Sons. Could be a lot of Sons. Maybe some of them went to the United States. And then one of them turned into a baseball player. We got Matt Tice. He's even from New Jersey. This is like, this is like fake Mike Trout here. Going to Mike Grzynski. I don't know. Is he about trout size? He's six foot two fifteen. He's a big guy. He could be a linebacker. Mike Trout Mike Trout six two? Mike Trout six two two thirty five. This guy's just like wannabe. He's just he's just wannabe Mike Trout. Yeah, Mike Trout's from New Jersey. This guy's from New Jersey. Trout was born in Vineland, Vinland, Vineland, New Jersey. Vineland, NJ to Jackson, NJ. Google Maps. It's about an hour and 30 minutes away from each other. And right in the middle, equidistant, I think, between right in the middle, Philadelphia. So yeah, he's probably an Eagles fan, probably goes to Eagles games. Anyway, that goes to Mike and the Angels. Sorry, Matt. I mean, yeah, probably love Springsteen. There's Adrian Morohon going to San Diego, which is a translation. You know the translation. 70 to 75, Adrian Morohon going to Mike G and the Friars. And the last bit. is going to be Isaac Galloway for Miami. Prim with the Marlins. No, Matt Tice probably likes Bon Jovi. <laughs> what if off-brand Matt... Uh, <laughs> What if off-brand Mike Trout just liked off-brand stuff? Like, he's not an Eagles fan, but he's... You know, like a New York Giants fan. You know, he doesn't like the boss, but he likes Bon Jovi. Like, one guy likes Geno's and the other guy likes the other play, other cheesesteak place. You know what I mean? Like, it's all kind of sort of off-brand. Yeah, he likes Pepsi and Del Taco. Mike Trout likes Coke and, and Taco Bell. Like, it's just, just a little off, you know? Like, they're not bad. Like, Pepsi's not bad. But it's just a little off. It's like Rob Lowe with cable and without cable on direct TV, right? That's a good pull, Sean. I, I forgot about those commercials. Those direct TV commercials were pretty good. All right, column A. Remember, we're trying to win some break credit right here. I sort your name by column A. If you bought at least two teams, one entry for the promo, four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries, basically buy an even number of teams, and half of that becomes entries for break credit. Aaron followed the directions, got one entry. Jorge got two teams, that's an entry. Matt K got eight teams, that's four entries. Michael Stewart got two teams, that's an entry. Mike G got six teams, that's three entries. 
Oliver got two teams, that's an entry. Prim got two teams, that's an entry. TJ got two teams, that's an entry. And Vinny got three teams. Two of those count, still an entry for a chance at some money. All right, so there is a total of 14 on this list. Put them into this blank list right here. And let's, and top seven of the four, so half of the 14 are gonna win 100 bucks. Some of you might be able to win multiple $100 break credits. Five and a three, eight times. Good luck, top seven after eight. One, two, three. Seven and eighth and final time after eight. Here is the top seven right there. So congrats to Vinny, Mike, Mike G twice, Matt K, Prim, Jorge, and Matt K again. Break credit going your way. Thanks for breaking. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next break. Congrats again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.